What is going on, Pickleball Crew? Today in this video, we're going to go ahead and be breaking down the 4.0 19 plus at the Pickleball Diamond Amateur Championships. All right, so this is again mixed doubles. So we're going to go ahead and see how they're playing and all that good stuff. All right, this channel, that YouTube channel that I get most of my videos from that we're going to go ahead and review and pick apart is done from Team Henlon Pickleball. I'll go ahead and leave that linked in the description so y'all can go and check it out. Huge shout out to this guy makes great videos or gal. I don't know if it's a guy, girl, whatever it is. Appreciate them for uploading all these videos. Now this right here is at Daytona beach. I did go ahead and play at their Subaru open, uh, singles. When I played, this is the center court, which is called the championship court. Great place. Got first, but again, let's go in and see this game and we're going to go ahead and break down, see what they're doing, right? What they're doing wrong, what we can learn and things that everyone can improve on from watching them play. All right. This is again for educational purposes only. So do not go bashing people in the comments that are actual players. Now, if you wanted to bash me, that's perfectly fine. I'm cool with that. All right. If you want to bash the commentary, that's good. That's what we're here for. But let's go in and start out. Though. I think the video is 38 minutes, so we're going to have to do two parts. But a uh, good serve there. He decides to drive it. Does a great job. They get it back. This is good. The dude in the blue looks good. So does the female right there. Wow. These this is now they're on the defense. He moved back. That's perfect. Oh, I don't know. Where's the ref at? He looked like he was in the kitchen. Wow, what a point. Nah, man, don't be sorry. That's a hell of a shot. That's a hell of a shot. That was that was a great point. That was the first point. Wow, that was some good stuff. They went on defense, and then they were still able to get it back. That's impressive, man. You can see this dude's been sweating. It gets hot there, man. I was there. It was like 80s. I do like this dude's paddle over there. That's that used to be my OG paddle till I switched to the Selkirk. I think that's the TMPR, right? Is it? It looks like it. Is that white paddle? Yeah, I think it might be. But we'll have to see. Good drop right there. Some great drops. You can see that they know how to play mixed doubles. They're attacking the females. It seems like the females are going at each other. And she misses the drop. There's some, there's some good pickleball to start. This might be the best thing we've seen so far. Again, it is 4-0. And these players look like they're more than 4-0s. We'll see how it goes. She goes for a drop. It's good. And then she kind of takes like a lazy approach right there. Right there, if we just go back, you'll see it's just, it's lazy. All right, I'm not going to lie. That's what it looks like because I, I do the same thing. It's just laziness. She didn't move her feet. She just kind of reached for the ball and you'll see. So she goes for a drop, misses it, kind of walks in, and look, look at her feet. Not set. One foot's ahead of the other. She's kind of lazied it. That's fine. Happens. But that's something you can clean up, though. Quickly, too. Pretty easily. She's doing the drop serve. Hey, man, whatever works. Nice deep return. Let's see if this team's able to keep him back. She actually hits a pretty decent drop. She's taking a lot of these drops out of the air, which is smart. You can see the dude, <laughs> the dude is trying to get involved and he's like, I had it. <laughs> That's the thing with mixed doubles, man. It's so tough, especially if you like at, at this level, um, the females get most of the balls. Like you have to really like, see, he even went to the female and the female has yet to hit that t female in the red, never hit a ball to the dude in the blue. And that's how, that's how it makes us played. It makes me mad too, man. Kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Get yourself a strong female partner and you're good to rock. Let's see what the dude does in the blue. He goes for a drop shot. A little bit high. Moves into the transition zone. Ah, she should have been up there. And she would have been able to attack that. They're going back at it. She finally hits it to the guy because he hasn't hit a ball in like a long, long time. Which is good. Some good little dinks. He can speed it up. That's perfect. Good shot there. Nice shot by the dude in the blue there. That was nice. That was nice. This is 19 plus. These people look a lot older, man. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? They're playing well, though. That's for sure. There you go. A little bit high. Let's see. A little bit high. Oh, man. Did she just catch that in her face? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> That's foul. She just caught that straight in her face. Holy. Wow. That was, that was interesting. <laughs> Y'all saw that? She just got that in her face. 
dude goes for a drive. He's really attacking that female over there. And then she can't get it back. As you can tell, she's mad. She is big mad. Those, those were some good drives. They just got to be a little bit lower. They were high up. So she was able to get them back easily. Let's see. She goes for a drop. Does a decent job. Is able to move into the transition. Oh, man. The female in the blue is just missing easy dinks, which I'm pretty sure she normally is able to hit, but happens to the best of us, man. The nerves, nerves get to us. That's a hell of a return. Nice and deep back line. That's impressive. And that's where, that's exactly where your return should be. Deep back line. Nothing should be close at all, ever. Right? There you go. Another nice and deep. Oh, they confused each other. What is going on? They made it to the gold match, so there's no excuse for that right there. I keep it a buck. That's just what happened. Guess the ref saying something. I don't know what the ref saying. I'll be honest. I don't know. They had refs at my matches too, man. Um, the poor kid that I was playing against got called for two faults in the final game. I don't know. I don't know. He was, I guess maybe his foot slid in there. He's, he's kind of confused. So was I, but the refs are cool. Can't lie. You know, it's nice not having to call score. But, uh, let's see this, this Pictona, um, which is in Holly Hills, Daytona beach, beautiful spot. They got like 40, 50 courts. It's insane. Absolute vibe. If you're a pickleball fan, definitely go ahead and check it out. And if you get to play a tournament, even better. Because then if you get to the championship, you get the center court. So much better. No wind in here. You can really slam the ball. That's if you're playing singles. And doubles, you probably don't want to be doing that. But hey. We'll see. This is at the 4.0 level. It looks good. The guy puts that up way too high. He at least get back into it. She puts it up even higher. <laughs> he somehow. <laughs> he's This dude in the blue is really trying to force force the issue i think he's just got to let the girl hit some of those balls because he's way over there it'd be a different story if he was that much better than the other players but i don't think he really is from what i've seen so far and just let the let the female hit those drops she's getting used to it and she's just missed a couple of easy things which sh hopefully she's able to clean up but we'll see there you go you can see it's just back and forth. She does a good job speeding it up and then gets a sped back up into her face. This is not looking good for that team. The girl in the red is just an absolute monster. They keep going to her backhand. What I would do is try to mix it up and go to her forehand too. That's a good, nice, deep return. Yeah, because this female um, keeps going to her backhand, especially when they're on this side over here. What I would do is kind of switch it up if you can and see how that goes right there how did he miss that the dude in the white how'd you miss that bro come on she had to cover all that ground and get over there and you missed that drop come on man short return that could have been driven if he wanted to oh man she should have just taken that out of the air they're somehow able to get back into this point we'll see how it goes wow dude in the blues really Really trying his hardest. Look at this. Ooh, good play right there. See? The girl in the blue, she's, she'll, she'll get it down. They, All four players look like good players, so. She should have moved up on that. A lot of these balls are high, and they're staying back. Like, a lot of the returns that are coming off these players are high. And if they just move up and take them out of the air. Now, I know you... People say, oh, you shouldn't let him take him out of the air. You should let him bounce. Certain situations, like, again, there. If she had just moved up. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect example. And look what she is able to set up for her team. Look at that. What did I say? Just run up on those. Because you're seeing consistently that they're popping you higher balls. The team that's further back. And the team in the blue just needs to attack those balls. Because they're not, like, they're able to hit decent drops right here. And they're getting higher balls back. Like that's a high ball. It's going to be sped up and bang. That's perfect. She was ready and she's got to change it up now. She sh should start attacking maybe the dude in the blue. See if he's not ready or dinking it over in the side. Because the girl in the blue is ready because she knows every ball is coming. Oh my God. 
the unforced errors from this dude in the white is uh, kind of going to cost this team. They don't figure it out real quick. We'll see. We'll see what happens, though. See what happens. Let's see. The dude in the blue slams it. Oh, what a shot. Look at that. The girl's like, damn. Didn't know you had that in you. They call the timeout. Freaking hate timeouts, man. That screen is the best thing. So they're up 6-4, I think. So they came back. Let's see. I just skipped a little bit too far ahead. Whatever. Again, see? Everything's at our backhand. Switch it to our forehand. There you go. Good. Get the other people involved. That's nice. Wow, what a play. What a play by the dude in the bow. Good play, man. That was a good dink. Because you can see he, he kind of didn't know if it was going to be in or out. In those situations, you're better off just playing them. Just play them. You can call them in or out after. But don't do it in that spot. She sped it up and oh my god. Now the team in the red is really starting to feel the pressure. We'll see what happens. Ooh. She goes cross court. That's good. Good dinks here. Let's see if someone goes a little bit more offensive with their dinks. That's perfect. Good gets. Good gets. Good gets. No, she popped it. Oh, no. That was a good point, too. That was fun to see. They all sped it up and then finally came back. That was That was a good point, though. That was fun to see. Oh, man. Now they can't hit a drop. Wow. This team's in trouble. They had all the momentum to start. That's how quickly in pickleball your momentum can be gone. It's kind of a scary thing. Look at that. Wow. Good shot by the dude in the blue. I wish they would uh, pan back to that uh, screen over there. That screen is so clutch. It's nice to see. <laughs> Can't lie. You know? Because then you get to see. Wow. Good play. As you can tell, he was way too far over on her court. Left his whole alley open. Dude in the white does a great job identifying that and just slamming it there. Not slamming it, but just speeding it up there. Was that? Oh, they call that deep. That looked like it might have been in. Look at them. They're like. Oh, I guess that was in. Great shot. Wow. Impressive. Thought they were calling it out. It's like, looked like it was in, man. Let's see, good. Misses a drop again. Sometimes with drops, what you want to do is kind of leave them just a tad bit higher so you don't hit them into the net. It's fine if they're a little high because you can still move into the transition zone. Ah, she just missed an easy one there. That's a tough one. Those those hurt the most, man. Especially like easy ones that you know you should get and you don't get. Those are the worst. They're deciding to stack, and not stack, but just pretty much switch on their forehands. That's good. Let's see. That was a great drop. Oh, too high. Wow, how is... Wow. I'm amazed. Wow, he's just going at her. Holy... <laughs> no! What a point. What a point. Holy... Wow. There, there's some great players. That was, that was fun to see, man. That was fun to see. That's a good point. A little high. She could have attacked it. Not anymore. Let's see where the dings are landing. She's doing a great job getting all these dings out of the air. She's giving the other team less time. See? She takes that. Is anyone going to speak? Oh! Catches a net tape. Woo! Good get. No, that's way too high. Man, she 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 sped up the wrong ball and kept it too high. And then after that, there's no recovering. It is just gone. You're not seeing that again. Cause it wasn't that high up, but it was still a little bit, and then it was just absolutely tormented. So that was that was a good point. Great point by them. Let's see. Could get. It's good. They're back to this 
Nice little dink battle. Good points. Good po Oh! <laughs> He's like, shit. <laughs> Whenever it catches that core, bro, nothing pisses me off more than that. Right there. Seems like the red team's kind of figured it out. They just got to be able to get into a dink battle. She misses an easy one there. That's tough. They call the timeout. Is he going to pan to the score? I guess he's not going to pan to the score. We're going to pause it here. Don't want to make the video too long. This is going to be part one. All right. We're going to go ahead and do a second part. So far, great game, right? What we're noticing is the team in the blue struggled early. Then they kind of weathered the storm. And then team in the red struggled, called the timeout, came out, was able to regroup. And then now it's back again to whoever is making those unforced errors and speeding up the wrong balls and hitting balls into the net, right? Hitting like easy returns, third shot drops into the net. So that's probably what's going to go ahead and determine this game. But we'll catch y'all in part two next. Aight.